You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. Thank you for joining me on the 700th episode of the Flip Empire show. We are celebrating not just the 700 mile marker, but also the fact that just three weeks ago was the seven year anniversary of this podcast. I have said this in the past numerous times, and I will continue to express my gratitude to you for investing your time and energy to supporting the show, to listening. For those of you who have taken time to leave a five-star rating and review an Apple podcast or wherever you consume your podcast, for those of you who have shared the show and reached other people and benefited them with the guest experts that I have on or some of the content that I've shared Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, if you would have told me back in 2016, June was when the first show got released that I would be doing this 700 episodes later and seven years later, I probably would not have believed you. But it speaks to having a clear vision, knowing why you're doing something, knowing that there's a greater purpose. And when you're doing things with a heart of service and wanting to impact and help people, there isn't anything you can't accomplish. And I'm not sharing that to pat myself on the back because it's not about me. This show exists because of you. It's to hopefully encourage and inspire you to do what you're doing about other people. Make it about your family. Make it about the impact and the legacy you want to create. And the legacy is a word that I intentionally use because as I really sat back and thought about what message can I deliver to you on a special podcast episode, the 700th episode, I considered getting a celebrity on the podcast, somebody who I believe their message resonates and aligned with mine. I had some names in mind. That could be cool for a future show, but I wanted to share with you what was on my heart and something that I have personally been going through over the course of the last several weeks with one of my right-hand team members who's been assisting me greatly in this process. And I want to give you the gift on this episode of Urgency. And what I mean by that, because you might be confused, like, what do you mean the gift of urgency is I want you to take some type of action to create a family legacy file. Let me take a few steps back, provide some context, and you know where I'm coming from. Just last week, I got the unfortunate news on Facebook that somebody who I knew from a previous mastermind, now I had actually never been in a mastermind room with this person, but Just as recently as three months ago, he reached out to me on Facebook when we communicated. He had some questions about something and I've spoken to this person in the past. We were all part of a community at one point and he passed away in his sleep and he couldn't have been older than me or maybe right around my age. Super, super young, appeared to be very healthy, just unfortunately just passed away so young. And so my heart and prayers go out to his family and loved ones and those that knew him And that really lit a fire under me to create a Pardo legacy file. But he wasn't the only one. This year alone, in the last six and a half, seven months or so, I've known of three people at a young age either pass or they're dealing with something life-threatening. A really, really, really good friend of my wife and I, when my wife and I met, she was part of like our little group and we see each other multiple times a year and we still communicate and she's in her thirties and she's dealing with her third bout of cancer. And this time it has spread into her lymph nodes and our hearts and prayers go out to her and her family. And she's a warrior. She's a fighter. And I'm hopeful and confident that she gets through this. And it's also scary. It's a reminder for us to never take our next breath for granted. And I realized that what I'm sharing with you is kind of ways. You wouldn't think that this is something I'd be sharing with you on a celebratory show, like the 700th episode, seven year anniversary of the podcast. But I wanted to give you something that I think this show exists because I want to reach you and I want to reach you at a deep level. I don't want to talk about surface level crap that you can just do a quick Google search jump on chat GPT and get a million answers that are much better than I could deliver in three seconds or hop on YouTube and pull up any how-to, like the how-to, the strategies, the resources, like that's all out there. And don't get me wrong. I'm going to continue to deliver that type of content in the future. And so will our guest experts, but I want to reach you at a deep core. I want you to be a better person, a better father, a better mother, a better leader, a better entrepreneur, a better husband or wife, 
sister, brother, I want you to be a better person as a result of the fact that you subscribe to this podcast and that you listen to it, hopefully on a frequent basis. And my goal has always been, if there's one thing I can share with you that lands, that hits you between the eyes, that resonates, that connects with you at your core, and you then do something with that information to improve the quality of your life for those around you, it's totally worth the investment of time, energy, money, and resources that I have spent over the past seven years. This show exists because of you and it will continue to exist because of you. It's not because of me. This isn't a moneymaker for me. I invest the time into it because I value helping others. I value service. I value giving. And so I'm sharing with you some of this information, this content that it's weighed on me because maybe this is a catalyst for you to go out and do something and create a family legacy file. So let me elaborate a little bit what I mean by a family legacy file. A family legacy file to me is somewhere central where your spouse, right? Your significant other, a loved one can go and access everything they would need to access about your life and business and financial affairs and responsibilities, et cetera, if you were to pass. As I thought about this gentleman I knew who passed away, I started to like, my heart just went out to his wife and kids. And I started to imagine what they would be going through. And the last thing that I would ever want to do, if it's my time to go, is to create an extra burden for my wife and for my kids and for my family, my parents, et cetera. And so when that happened, again, it just created a sense of urgency for me to get things in order that should have been done a long time ago. Now, don't get me wrong. Years ago, we created a living testament at will and a healthcare surrogate and all of this important information, but it wasn't fully comprehensive, right? So as an example, obviously my wife knows the different businesses I'm involved in with Ascend and lending and our rentals and the storage facilities that I own, et cetera. But if I wasn't here, I don't know that she would know the first place to go to or start. And so I have intentionally and strategically been mapping out and creating a very, very comprehensive, what I'm calling a Pardo legacy file. And this consists of all of our current assets. By the way, this should be in a safe, if you're doing it online, password protected place. You could go old school and have copies of it. In fact, I think the best of both worlds is to have it online and also have copies of it. And then if you don't want to do quarterly basis, because that seems like a lot, maybe twice a year or at the very minimum, once a year, update it if you dispose of assets or if you acquire new assets. And assets is just one category of it, by the way. So if you're listening to this and you're saying, hey, I'm, I'm in my journey hasn't gotten to the place where I'm acquiring assets, that's totally okay. You should still have a legacy file because assets is just one small component of that. But as an example, think of going to one place where everything is organized, right? Like, so it's organized by single family rental properties, by storage facilities. And within those buckets, you have the deed, you have the closing documents, you have the contact information of the closing attorney, you have the contact information of any partners or lenders. If there's a promissory note, deed of trust or mortgage, like all important documents, all important contact information, all those details should be in there, right? So that if you were no longer here, your husband or wife or loved one or family member who was going to take care of your affairs after the fact would be able to go in there and step by step, almost like a standard operating procedure, things would be laid out, right? So one of the things that I've recently done is gone back to my estate attorney and now we're having a trust set up, right? So that we bypass probate. Probate, at least in the state of Florida, can be very expensive, 3% of the value of the estate. Right. And as you accumulate assets, as your net worth grows, 3% can be a very, very large number. And then, not to mention the hoops and the hurdles and the headaches and the challenges that your loved one would have to go through in order to keep what's rightfully yours, what's in the family. And so, we're in the process of getting that done. That should be done very soon. And shame on me because I should have had that done years ago. It's always been one of those things that I say, I know it's important. I'll get to it and I'll get to it. And it keeps getting pushed down the list. So I'm not sharing that with you to express or display any level of guilt because that's an emotion that is neither good nor bad. It just doesn't serve me. But now's the time to get it done. You think about if you own your own home, 
if you own cars, jewelry, if you have cash in a safe, if you have cryptocurrency, stocks, bonds, think of all the assets. And if you own equity, like as I was going through this process, I realized that I have a small percentage of equity in a storage facility and I don't even consider it, but it's an asset, right? It's got value. And so that's in there. So as I kind of just looked through everything, we have a very detailed document which lists all of the subscriptions that I pay for personally and business. And I have it broken down by personal and business and then which business the subscriptions belong to have usernames and passwords to these things. How much do you get billed? When do you get billed? What's the frequency of the billing? Is it monthly? Is it annual? Is it quarterly? Right? So that way, if something happens to me, those things can contact information for each of those subscription services, how to cancel. I'm sharing this with you not to overwhelm you because I'm not going to lie to you. It's a lot and it's not fun to go through, but it is so critical. It is so important that We think about our loved ones. We think about those in our family so that if something were to happen to us, we're not creating an extra burden inadvertently, right? You want to be very thoughtful and conscious and intentional about creating these things. So fortunately, throughout the last several years, I've surrounded myself with the right people, coaches, mentors. There's a document that we have with who my wife and kids should go to for help, for assistance in different areas, spiritually financially, business, emotional support, right? Like it's very detailed in there. And one of the things we're not quite done yet because it's pretty comprehensive. One of the things we're going to do is create a video and have my wife on it and make sure that she understands where everything is, how to access everything. Passwords to computers, passwords to phones, passwords to safes, all those types of things should be in there. It should be very comprehensive. And maybe this is like you eat the elephant one bite at a time type of thing. This isn't something you're probably going to get done in a day, but start somewhere. Leave your family in a better position today or tomorrow if something were to happen to you than they would have otherwise been. And that's the intention and the reason, the motivation behind sharing this message on this 700th podcast episode is I wanted to give you the gift of urgency to start doing something for your family. Businesses, right? Like when do LLCs get renewed and are there partners, are there operating agreements? Like all that type of stuff should be in here, right? Are there employees? Do you have a payroll service like ADP that automatically pays your employee? Like all these different things you want to think about. And it's going to take time to map these things out, but start little by little and start putting into this family legacy file, all of these different types of things. One thing I will say that's very important is if you have people in your corner that you trust, that you know will watch after your family, that will be there for you, that will guide a loved one, if you're no longer there, reach out to them. And while it's going to be a very, very big ask of you to them, this isn't something less than a handful of people might come to mind for you. Maybe one or two people would come to mind for you, but hopefully you have someone that you trust that is maybe a little bit further along than you, or you know would provide the right guidance and insight. Have a conversation, say, hey, if I'm no longer here, can you be there to support my wife? Can you be there for my family? Can you help them with X, Y, and Z? Have those conversations. I had a handful of those conversations with people that I trust that are in my corner that if something were to happen to me, they could be there as a support system in the different areas of our lives. Do you have a life insurance policy set up, right? Do you have disability insurance, tax returns, right? Think of having a place where like the last 10 or 15 or 20 years, tax returns are all there. The contact information for your CPA, contact information for the bookkeeper, all these different types of things. Again, I know I am throwing a ton at you. Don't let that overwhelm you. Maybe this is one of those shows that hopefully you listen to two, three, four times. You share this with somebody who you trust that can help you because you don't have to go at this alone. We have a place where we have recurring income, right? Like how much do we expect? When do we expect it? access to bank accounts and retirement accounts like Roth IRAs and things of that nature. So with that being said, that's kind of where I want to leave you. Again, I know listening to this episode may feel like drinking out of a fire hydrant, but hopefully you hear the energy in my voice that I truly believe this is something so important that every single person listening, I don't care if you're a multi, multi multi-millionaire, your net worth is whatever it is, whether you have a ton of assets or no assets, or your net worth is X or Y or Z, it doesn't matter. 
have this in place because if you don't, it's just going to create an extra burden on your family and your loved ones. And if you're listening to this show, I know with 100% certainty that you would not wish that on them. So make it a priority. Take the time to do it. We had a conversation around this topic at our last Ascend Mastermind retreat. We had a couple of panels and one of them was on family and parenting. And this was brought up. So make sure that you're immersing yourself in the right communities where people are not just puffing out their chest and sharing how great they are or their wins or I did this, I did that, but that you're also in a community that it's like, hey, I fell, I stumbled, I failed. This happened to me. Where you're openly sharing challenges, that's when you know you're in the right community, especially when you're surrounded by people that are going to love on you, going to walk alongside you, that are not going to judge you, that are going to challenge you, hold you accountable. That's why we created the Ascend Mastermind community over four years ago. And so if you want to learn more about that, ascendyoursuccess.com. And with that being said, I thank you again for supporting and tuning in for the 700th podcast episode. Just so awesome. So awesome. I appreciate you. And the only way that we can get to the next 700 is if you can continue to support the show, share it. There's so many people out there that don't know about this. A very small percentage of people know about this podcast. And so with your help, I can reach more people. I can continue to just be giving and open my heart and just share wins, losses, challenges, bring you the best experts possible. So again, thank you for supporting the show. I've said that a million times and at least for now, that'll be the last time I share it with you, but have an incredible day. If somebody hasn't told you recently that you got this, that you can do it to keep going, keep fighting, keep pushing, regardless of what you're going through, I'm here to share that message with you. All right. You got this. Keep going, keep fighting, keep pushing. You can do it. Whatever success you're after is on the other side. So just keep going and don't give up. Talk to you soon on the next one. All right, my friend, I hope you enjoyed that Flip Empire episode and got a lot of value out of it. Make sure to check the show notes page for any resources that were mentioned. And speaking of resources, honestly, I don't think I've done the best job of sharing with you my top curated, highly recommended tools and resources that I use in my business or have used in my business. In some cases, these are affiliate relationships with people that I highly trust and respect. And I know these tools and resources can help you and your business go to the next level. And as an ethical bribe, if you decide to uh, try out one of these resources using my link, I will go ahead and send you an unadvertised bonus. I'll send you something of high value. All you got to do is shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com. Go ahead and let me know that you you tried out this resource and uh, however I can help you getting started with that, chances are that I know it very, very well and currently use it or have used it. So make sure to check that out, flipempire.com forward slash resources. And if I can be of help or service to you in any way, just shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com and I will do anything I can for you. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next show.